Hi there, I'm Kevin Nolte of willvideoforfood.com and today I'm going to walk you through creating without any technical expertise your own online video site. So the example I'll give you is the site I created myself without any HTML coding experience and it's called cubebreak.com. Insert cubebreak riff here. Okay, uh, hopefully you've had a chance to look at that while you pause. Um, first, let me say I am making this video while I drive into Philadelphia against the advice of my sister who tells me that my videos have low production value. She works in network as a producer. And then secondly, my brother who advises me not to make videos while driving. I do not condone making videos while driving. Uh, DWVing can be very dangerous. Uh, that being said, I would now like to uh, first explain why you want to create your own online video site. Um, although you wouldn't be watching this if you didn't already believe that that's uh, worthwhile. And then take you through five steps, five easy steps to create your own site. Okay, first of all, why create an online video site? Well, first, uh, you want to make sure that all of your videos are branded with uh, a name and that people can then easily find additional videos without having to ferret through other online video sites. Number two, you want to make sure that people who you know can easily access your videos without having to, again, search through YouTube and, and try to find it. And number three, and most importantly, you can create revenue through this. So you're going to make money on this um, through two sources. Number one, through Rever.com's ad sharing. So you're going to get you're going to get an affiliate fee from Rever. And if it's your own video, you're going to get half of the uh, ad click revenue. Um, and then number two, you can drop in any ads you want on your site. You can get crazy and have pop-ups and everything else, but I like to stick with Google AdSense and then Amazon Affiliates. Um, so those are my two. Okay, let's go through the five steps here. First, you're going to park a domain. And you're going to make sure it's memorable and interesting. Number two, you're going to set up your site. Number three, you're going to go to Rever and create collections. Number four, you're going to take the code from Rever and put them into your site. And number five, you're going to add any type of additional advertisements you want on your site to drive additional revenue. Okay, let's go through more detail of each of those steps. Number one, parking a domain. I use Yahoo.com's uh, hosting. You can use GoDaddy. It's a little cheaper, but Yahoo comes with email. Um, and I was already familiar with using Yahoo email, so that was easy for me. It's like 15 bucks a month. Um, so it's not inconsequential, but it's more than offset with um, the revenue. Uh, number uh, two, you're going to create your site. Now I use Yahoo Site Builder, which is uh, you know relatively easy to use. It's a little kludgy and slow, and you can't customize it to the degree that you can with other uh, software. But it, it just you know it was just easy. It was all bundled with Yahoo, so that's what I used. Um, when I created the site, you can use templates, but I just uh, I just basically created multiple pages and then dragged and drop all the page elements, the, the masthead, the uh, navigation bar, and then anything else you want to throw on your site. Um, and again, you don't need programming to do that. It's almost a little bit like using PowerPoint. You can insert images, you can put in text, you can drag it around, and it's pretty simple. Uh, probably the most complicated part is that you're going to create little HTML code blocks, okay? And those are going to serve up uh, things from other sites. So you're going to create one that's the size of a Rever widget, and then you can create some banners, and then you're going to get the code from other sites and put those into the HTML blocks. So we'll get to that in a minute. Step number three, creating your collection. So you'll go to Rever.com. Presumably you've already uploaded your videos to Rever.com um, and set up a user account. And then you're going to create collections. The way you create collections is by either taking their pre-baked collections or, or customizing your own and naming them. Um, so for example, I have my own videos as a collection. I've got most popular Rever videos as a collection. And then I create for Qbreak uh, specific collections including weird videos, funny videos uh, and then every time you look at a video you can decide if it warrants being in one of your collections and if so you can then stick it into one of those baskets okay step number four you go back to your Yahoo site builder and you're going to create these HTML blocks and then you'll go to wrapper and click on a little puzzle piece that says grab HTML or whatever it's called um, so now you're going to get a, a big block of code, which is a, the code for the widget. 
and you're going to copy and paste that into Site Builder. Now there's one nuance, which is that the first line of code can only appear in one, on a page one time. So if you have five widgets, you got to make sure that the, the widgets number two, three, four, and five do not have that first line of code or else the whole thing gets screwed up. So you might want to check out the Rever discussion board uh, for more details about that. That's probably one of the trickier steps here. Okay, step number five, you are going to create other types of ad revenue sources. So you can go to Google AdSense, it's a little complicated creating an account, but then you can grab uh, any, create any type of banner, and then you grab that code and you'll drop it into an HTML box back on your site. You can create all sorts of different banners. Um, I'm finding that uh, site build, uh, rather, uh, Google AdSense is, is creating about 50 bucks uh, a month of revenue for me, which more than offsets the hosting cost. And then anything else I can make through uh, Amazon affiliate fees or what have you. Um, and then all the rever money is gravy on top of that. So there you have it. Five easy steps to creating your own video site like Qbreak. For more details, check out willvideoforfood.com and also read the Will Video for Food blog for more details about how to market your site, which I'm not even going to get into in this video. Okay? Enjoy. Send me questions if you've got them. And let me know when you've created your own site. I'd like to look at it. Cheers.